the Armed Forces provides amazing training. I think about veterans as people who have already figured out how to serve. My military skills have been essential. Hiring veterans is a great business case. They're the best employees we have. They're flexible, hardworking, and they're used to a global workplace. If that isn't an asset to any company, I don't know what is. Hiring America. The award-winning television job fair for American veterans. Connecting you with companies who know your value. Learn about employers who are actively hiring today and organizations that support veterans. Your future success starts right here on Hiring America. Welcome to Hiring America, the television series that helps military veterans find jobs and transition into meaningful careers. I'm Lauren Wonko. Today we're coming to you from the Society for Human Resource and Management Annual Conference and Exposition in Washington, D.C., where we're talking with HR professionals who are making a strong impact on the military community. You'll meet hiring managers, veterans, and learn helpful tips about your transition. Log on to our website, hiringamerica.net, for more information. And don't forget to connect with us on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. The best way to describe being a soul of life is, you know, a leader of character committed to a lifetime of service. It's an identity, it's a feeling you have. The title of a soldier is earned, and no one can take that away from you. From the moment that you earn that recognition of being a soldier, and throughout your term of service, you're refining those skill sets, whether it be values, whether it be the training that you receive. These are things that will transcend your entire life. Soldier for Life is an organization that connects Army, governmental, and community efforts to build relationships that facilitate successful reintegration of our military veterans and families. Here to tell us more about this organization is their employment director, Lieutenant Colonel Adam Grimm, a West Point graduate and Army veteran. Thanks for joining us here on Hiring America. Thank you. Glad to be here. You've had a long military career. Tell us about your time in the service and your time spent at West Point. Yeah, so uh, I've been in the Army about 16 years now, and uh, it's been one of those uh, you know, life-changing experiences from the humble beginnings at West Point, not really knowing what I was getting myself into. You know, the skills that you learn, the experiences that you get, the places you get to travel and the people you get to meet has been truly amazing. And the Army's done a great job shaping me, developing me, letting me grow, and you know, been everywhere from living on the, the West Coast, out in uh, Washington State, deployed to Iraq a couple times, done a series of training events all over the country, all over the world, and you know, now here I am at Soldier for Life as the employment director, and it's, it's been a, you know, a fantastic, fantastic career. What is Soldier for Life? So the Soldier for Life office uh, started about three years ago. We're part of the Department of the Army staff. And we came about at the time when you know, the Great Recession was about high veteran unemployment. Uh, the Chief of Staff of the Army, who's kind of like the CEO of the Army, said we need to have some form of strategic outreach so that we can connect with employers, educators, uh, healthcare facilities, people who want to help soldiers, veterans, and their families transition once they separate from the military and go back to their communities. And really our mission is to connect. We connect kind of at the strategic level with employers, educators, uh, healthcare facilities, and you know, the network of about 46,000 veteran service organizations to find opportunities for veterans and their families. In general, how many veterans transition each year? On average, we separate about 120,000 soldiers a year, and that's for the, the active duty army, the National Guard, and the Reserve. What do you think the biggest struggle is for veterans transitioning into the civilian workforce today? Honestly, I think the, the biggest one is soldiers have never had to apply for a job, do interviews, and engage in a lot of the job-seeking skills out there. So they're, they're usually a little behind their peers when it comes to things like salary negotiations. In the military, you always know how much you're going to get paid based on your rank and your years of service. So as soldiers make that transition, things like negotiating salaries, uh, the interview process, and resumes can be some of the most challenging parts. The good news is you know, the Department of Defense has come on board with a lot of different programs to help soldiers uh, close that gap. What does being a soldier for life mean to you? You know, really, a soldier for life is a mindset. You know, we hope that all soldiers understand that no matter if you serve three years or 33 years or any length in between, that we expect you to be a leader of character who continues to serve as an Army ambassador in your community. We know that, you know, the all-volunteer force is, is a very precious thing. 
You know, our Army has had all volunteers since Vietnam, and we need to continue uh, to, to find the next generation of, of servants. And to do that, we have to be Army ambassadors within our community and understand that the Army will always be there for us and will always be there for the Army. How does the ethos, once a soldier, always a soldier, impact the civilian workplace in general? Well, I'll tell you, soldiers have a ton of skills, both hard skills that they learn in the military and soft skills, things like discipline, motivation, hard work. A lot of the things that bring benefit to employers are that they're always going to be on time, they're always going to be working hard, they're great at teamwork, they're good at following directions, and they're also good at giving directions. What do you do to convince human resource managers that hiring veterans is the right thing to do? Well, I'll tell you, it's a pretty easy sell. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of organizations out there see the, the skills that veterans have, the values that they bring, and you know, the number one question I get is not, why should I hire a veteran, it's how do I hire a veteran? How does Soldier for Life assist military spouses? So military spouses are a very important, uh, important part of the Army team. Uh, they support their service member as they deploy, as they move frequently. Uh, you know, every two to three years, on average, a soldier relocate. And that spouse uh, has to oftentimes uproot their career, uproot their networks, and move. So our office advocates for military spouse hiring. And there's a lot of great programs through the Department of Defense. The Military Spouse Employment Partnership is one that we work closely with. And we'll, whenever we talk with employers, we'll say, hey, we understand that you want to hire veterans, but have you considered hiring their spouses as well? Because we know that spouses generally are you know, very highly educated, have a lot of great career experiences, and a ton of skills that employers would love to have. Where can a veteran go to find out more about Soldier for Life? So on our website, we have a Soldier for Life website. We also have a Facebook page, a LinkedIn group. There's a lot of different resources out there. Uh, the number one resource we recommend for soldiers, though, is their uh, Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program. Each soldier goes through a five-day mandated process, and this is on every Army installation, and that's the best place for soldiers to start. Thank you for joining us here on Hiring America. You're very welcome. Thank you. We'll be back with more from the SHRM Annual Conference and Exposition in Washington, D.C. Continue the conversation on our Facebook page and Twitter, and visit our website at HiringAmerica.net. There are corporations in dire need of skilled, loyal employees. There are trustworthy, experienced people who want to work in these corporations, but they don't understand the corporate culture or how to communicate their values during the hiring process. In my work with corporations, I've seen many companies struggle to find and retain competent, resilient, trainable employees. And on the other side, I've worked with hundreds of veterans over the last few years and learned that our military veterans coming back from service are not prepared with the ability to articulate their value. Lita Citroen is a reputation management and personal branding specialist who helps professionals tell their story and market their value. Since 2009, Lita has been working with members of the military transitioning to civilian jobs. Thanks so much for joining us here on Hiring America. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me, how do you go about doing this? Well, a lot of times I teach in the transition classes on an installation or in a corporate setting, but I really help our military understand who they are before they try to figure out what they want to be after they take off the uniform. How do you do that? <laughs> well, it starts with a lot of uncomfortable soul searching. And I admit that I make them feel very uncomfortable by asking them questions that as civilians we're usually used to answering, but our military haven't thought about. Questions like, what are they passionate about? How do they want the rest of their life to look? What do they want to do, not just what do they know how to do? And help them design something I call a desired brand. It's the legacy that they're going to leave behind. And when we can put that out in the future, then we re-engineer their career backwards. What's the next step after they've identified those points? Well, then we start building a strategy. So we look at who their target audience is. We line up who they are and what they're passionate about with what their audience needs. And then come tools like social media, resume, interview tips. All of that comes after we've designed the strategy and the brand. So it's really discovering yourself first. Absolutely, absolutely. How do you translate that to companies? 
Well, so it, it's interesting. I've been doing this work with military for almost seven years now, and it got the attention of hiring managers because I'm getting my veterans ready for interviews and, and putting in the job application process. So the employers are now curious about the military personal branding program so that they can line up their skills and their tools with what the veterans are looking for. And that's not something you intended for in the beginning, is that right? It isn't. It's kind of an unintended consequence that when my book came out in 2014, a lot of companies were buying it because they didn't understand what the veteran had been through. You know, 99% of the American population hasn't served. So most of us are like me and we've got dumb questions and we don't know about the acronyms and terms. So I provided this book for veterans that became a resource for employers. Where did your passion come from for this? Actually, I started my business in 2008 and I left corporate America in the middle of the worst economy we'd seen in this country and I became an entrepreneur. Um, but I started a business helping professionals build competitive advantage and do personal branding and all of those tools. But it actually happened at a 2009 Denver Broncos football game when it happened to be the week of Veterans Day and I was in the stands and at halftime the team brought out a transitioning soldier to talk to the crowd about what that experience was like. And he said things like, I don't know how to sell myself. I don't know how to tell my story. I'm afraid and intimidated by what comes next. And I thought, but I know how to do that. I know how to help. I had no idea how difficult that was gonna be. Give us an example of a veteran success story. Oh, I, I remember um, years ago working with a group of Navy SEALs. And at one point we were talking about passions and like if, if money were no object and there were no limitations on what they could do, what would you love to do? And one of them leaned in and he said, you know what I'd love to do? I would love to be a high school football coach. And I said, why are we whispering? <laughs> and he said, cause I'm a Navy SEAL. Like that's not what we do after service. And I said, why wouldn't that be? And he actually, he didn't become a high school football coach, but he started working with youth in his community and he's very successful at doing that. And I love that story, even though I've coached very senior military officers out of the Pentagon, because it really speaks to the fact that we need to remind ourselves these are human beings who wanna do things that they're passionate about when they take off the uniform. For veterans interested in your work, where can they go for more information? Well, veterans and employers can go to my website, which is lida, L-I-D-A, 360.com. Thanks so much for joining Thank us, Lita. Thank you. Thank you for your time. We'll be back with more of Hiring America in a moment. I am so proud to work for the Home Depot. I am proud to represent this company. I bleed orange, and what that means to me is that this company is my family, and they have a commitment to me, but they also have a commitment to that you have a great career, that we give back to our communities, we give back to our veterans, we give back to our associates and our customers, and I would just encourage you to please think about the Home Depot for your next career opportunity. The U.S. trucking industry has committed to hire 100,000 veterans in the next two years. Military experience, regardless of MOS, is highly valued. You can find these jobs from leading employers on the website truckingtrack.org. One of the leading employers of veterans in the trucking industry is Werner Enterprises. A day in the life of man yelled in a car and driving a truck. It is actually fun. I did 20 years in the Navy and I served first duty station was USS Independence. I didn't have any experience driving a 18-wheeler. My experience was aircraft maintenance. So when it came to the transition, they made a nice smooth transition for me and showed me that if I just applied myself, it would work out nice and easy. But now I actually work in a recruiting office and I'm able to make it to more driving schools and talk and give my experience to other students that are out there coming into the industry and tell them, hey, it's a self-motivated industry. You can get out what you put into it and just make it your own. My name is John Deering. I served in the Army for eight years. I was a sergeant in the uh, military police corps. Uh, I just recently got out in J June of last year and made the transition into the trucking industry. I'm Tiffany Deering, and uh, I served in the Army for five years. I was military police. And uh, pretty much once I got out, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after that. And my big thing was I really wanted us to be able to spend some time together. The trucking industry was a perfect fit. We spent about four years apart while we were in the military. So we were looking for an industry that allowed us to at least see each other. 
we get to have both of our dogs. It's the biggest thing that you can equate with both industries. You know, the Army, you're always learning something, you know, you're always redoing training and remembering more. And with this, you're doing the same thing. So you have a lot of skills that coincide with both. And it makes it a really good career opportunity. There's always going to be a need for truck drivers, and there always is. There's always going to be a need for somebody to deliver that freight, somebody to receive that freight, somebody to ship that freight. So not only as drivers, if you ever want to do more than just drive a truck, the trucking industry is always huge, always looking for quality people to move on up, to be managers, to be safety managers, to be shippers, receivers, and so on and so forth. I did a lot of research on a lot of companies before I decided to choose Werner. My grandfather had a farm and I've always been around machinery my entire life. My dad is a retired road grader operator. So being around machinery and heavy equipment and trucks um, inspired me as well. So I thought what a better way to um, provide service to our country not being in the military anymore than to be an over the road trucker. I'm a 13 year army vet that I deployed a few times. Um, I actually was medically discharged from the Army. Um, I got hurt a few times, messed up my back a little bit. So um, after being medically discharged, I went to some, some college. You know, that didn't really work out for me. Worked at a pet store. You know, that wasn't really providing for the family. So I looked around at things that could provide a better life for me and my family. And that's how I found the trucking industry. I currently drive what we call Freedom 7. Uh, it's our, for our Operation Freedom program for our veterans hiring program. Um, I go around doing PR events and recruiting events, uh, go to the military bases, trying to recruit uh, military personnel, getting ready to get out of the military to come work for us. We deploy a lot of resources towards our veteran recruiting because you know, less than 1% of the nation serves in the country. You know, and we, we're always looking for that quality, front of the class driver. Last year we spent over $400 million on trucks, trailers, transportation, technology, and talent. And when you do that, and you put passion first towards your veterans, you're going to hire the best. And Werner Enterprises, Troy Davidson. We have one of the top three finalists for uh, the Fastport uh, T680. And you know, having the Rookie of the Year, I mean, it, it's just incredible. I mean, it makes me feel great that knowing that the work that we are doing as a company is paying off, and, and, and Chris and uh, uh, Troy are just true testaments of what we've, we've been doing. There you go. They, they, they will cash this at the front desk. At first, I didn't even know that I was up for it. You know, it's just great to be nominated, you know, because somebody's recognizing what you've done and how, how safe you've been, you know, that you're always on time and, and things like that. I think I was chosen because of my military background, um, my attention to detail, um, my honor, courage, and commitment to my job, and the simple fact that I technically love my job. I love exactly what I do to this day. It's a great honor uh, to drive the Freedom Trucks. Uh, we're all hand-selected. Uh, we're supposed to be the cream of the crop. I don't think I'm that. I just enjoy what I do and I believe in what it's for. I'll wake up in a truck stop and there'll be somebody standing outside of it taking pictures. Uh, I'll stop in a rest area and people can approach me, hey, can we take a picture of the truck? I've even come back to my truck and I found notes stuck to it, uh, thanking us for uh, what we're doing for our veterans. I was a staff sergeant in the Army. Um, I really like the management side of that. I really want to be an ambassador for Warner Enterprises. Um, so whenever I, I stop at a stop, I want to make sure that people understand what Warner is about and how military friendly we are. Um, so I'll go from there and then eventually maybe even be a recruiter. I want to be able to help the public and let them know that the trucking business is out there. It's a great industry to work for and to come along and be part of the Team Blue with Warner Enterprises. These veterans today, veteran drivers, are the kind of drivers that we're looking to hire, the kind of drivers that we, that we build and that we help uh, in their career paths and the ones that we want to help stay on. Just goes to show the kind of culture that, that we have and we want to continue to have in the future with our drivers at Warner Enterprises. Hiring America will be back in a moment. Thanks for watching. The information we've just shared is all on our website, hiringamerica.net. 
log on and find out about more companies who are hiring veterans. And don't forget to connect with us on our Facebook page and YouTube channel, where you can find helpful tips and watch full episodes of the show. I'm Lauren Wonko. Join us again next week for another episode of Hiring America. Promotional consideration provided by JetBlue, a proud employer of those who've served. This program made possible by the generous support of the following companies.